With the recent launch of Powerwall 3 being a hot topic, let's deep dive into why you may want to consider it, advancements Powerwall 3 offers, and the key factors that separates it from any of its competitors. Firstly, a quick introduction to Powerwall. The first ever Powerwall, known as Powerwall 1, was launched in April 2015. This was Tesla's first offering to the non-vehicle battery market. Unfortunately, due to performance and commissioning issues, Powerwall 1 only lasted on the market for a year before Powerwall 2 was released in 2016. This brought features we know today such as Stormwatch, time-based control, and the backup gateway. This allows your house to be islanded from the grid whilst maintaining power to your house. Powerwall 2 since this day has been Tesla's market share product for battery storage globally, selling over 600,000 units. Powerwall 2's ease of installation, reliability, and safety have led to it become the best battery storage system on the market today, with every brand trying to compete. Battery storage technology is moving at such a pace now that other brands are beginning to catch up to Powerwall 2's capabilities, prompting something new from Tesla. Powerwall 3 launched in the UK, which has released a lot of excitement and questions around the product. Our company is a premium partner of Tesla, which allows us to get very early access to the product at the end of this month. We'll be posting a video about that shortly, so make sure you subscribe. The first big feature of Powerwall 3 is the 11.04 kilowatt outfit to the house. This is a huge step up from the 5 kilowatt of Powerwall 2 and the highest again from any other battery storage in a single box. This output allows you to power more things from the battery storage at once, especially hydro appliances. This includes car chargers, heat pumps, induction hobs, hot tubs, and the accumulation of multiple electrical items at once during peak times. On an evening, you could have the kettle on and cooking, which would exceed the 5 kilowatt draw on Powerwall 2. Powerwall 3 will power all of this and more on and off the grid. This huge output is standard and can be increased to more if an additional Powerwall is added. More on this later. The Powerwall 3 launch also introduced a built-in DC coupled inverter, meaning the power generated by your solar PV goes straight to the Powerwall with no change from AC to DC and back again. If you'd like to learn more about AC and DC coupling, head over to our other video to find out. When thinking about inverters, we need to discuss what an MPPT is. In simple terms, an MPPT is a solar string. Solar panels are daisy chained together in series. Most AC coupled inverters have two MPPTs. Powerwall 3 has three in total. This allows for a much more flexible installation without relying on an expensive AC coupled inverter such as Solar Edge. Solar Edge inverters and the optimizers can cost upwards of £1,500. Powerwall 3 removes this expense. What's more, if you have multiple southerly roofs, a garage and a house for example, provided you don't exceed the current, both these roofs could be powered from a single MPPT. In this same example, you could have more panels on the easterly roof and westerly roof from one box. Powerwall 3's inverter allows a maximum of 20 kilowatt installed, which is enough for almost any domestic home. Efficiency is the number one factor with battery storage. Efficiency is how much energy it costs you to generate your energy, store it, and use it later. This is referred to the round trip efficiency. Powerwall 2 is 90% efficient. DC coupled Powerwall 3 is 97% efficient. This means for every kilowatt hour you generate, you only lose 3%, whereas with Powerwall 2, you lose 10%. Powerwall 3's high efficiency is market leading with no other battery storage having this high efficiency. DC coupled is the most efficient setup without a doubt, but what if you have feed-in tariff or want to add more solar than 20 kilowatts? Powerwall 3 is essentially three different batteries in one. It can be configured to AC, DC, or AC and DC coupled. This means you could have an AC coupled solar system on feed-in tariff, which you can alter due to your contract, and add more solar on the DC coupled Powerwall 3 inverter. Alternatively, you could have a three-phase system with over 20 kilowatts of solar using an AC coupled inverter. It wouldn't be as efficient as DC coupled, but allows the flexibility of more solar. Powerwall 3 is hugely flexible for any home to adapt to. It's hugely configurable and allows expansion in the future if you don't want to install all your solar at once. Now let's address the elephant in the room, safety. It's becoming a bigger area of discussion with solar PV and battery storage. The regulation for battery storage is very weak and almost non-existent. Due to this, the battery storage installation practices have often been based on manufacturer's guidance. 
This means battery storage is fitted in areas such as lofts where high heat can cause batteries to become vulnerable to high temperatures and potentially catch fire. Our company prides itself on never fitting Powerwall inside a home as Powerwall is designed to be outside. Powerwall 2 was water cooled but Tesla found it to be rarely activated. It worked by taking the heat generated by the internal power electronics and exchanging this to the liquid coolant and circulating that throughout the unit. Powerwall 3 advances on this by adding a new individual cell cooling architecture, heat mode and flood resistance. Powerwall 3 uses designated cell level heaters to directly transfer heat, improving the capability of Powerwall 3 to control and heat the cells compared to Powerwall 2. To maintain cell temperature throughout Powerwall 3's ambient temperature operating range, minus 20 degrees to 50 degrees, each Powerwall 3 has dedicated resistive heating elements which conduct heat directly at the cell level when activated. With heat mode, Powerwall 3 will heat itself intelligently and efficiently to maintain optimal cell temperature for charge and discharge performance using solar and battery usage history from the past seven days to determine how much power is needed. The simplest way of looking at this is Powerwall 3 maintains its cell temperature at a minimum of zero degrees, regardless of the outdoor temperature. Like a Tesla vehicle preparing to supercharge, Powerwall conditions itself and optimizes for things like sunrise so it can charge the battery as soon as solar begins producing. If you want to learn more, we have attached the white paper as a link in the description. With heat mode being an energy draw on the battery, during operation it will show as a home load on your Tesla app. In terms of energy consumption, at minus 20 degrees, Powerwall 3 will use around 200 watt hours to prepare the cells for optimal efficiency. This energy equivalent is less energy to power a single monitor for three hours. The next major advancement is the battery cell technology itself. Powerwall 2 used lithium iron, whereas Powerwall 3 uses lithium iron phosphate or LFP. LFP batteries suffer less from higher temperatures and fast charging or discharging rates, meaning they can cope better with high loads and fast charging. This is the modern battery technology used in Tesla's new Model 3 vehicle, which has been proven to be a great success in both safety and performance. Finally, let's talk about expansion. Like Powerwall 2, you can install multiple Powerwall 3 per one gateway installed. Powerwall 2 allowed up to three Powerwalls per gateway. Powerwall 3 allows a further one, bringing it to four. This would allow a total of 54 kilowatt hours stored and up to 44.16 kilowatts output to your home. The potential challenge with installing this much output is of course the grid. They will require a connection request for each Powerwall 3 you install causing delays and potential disappointment if not improved. What's more, all of these additional Powerwall 3s will be expensive and you may only want to add battery storage, not output. This is where the Powerwall 3 DC expansion kits come in. A battery module which only adds capacity, doesn't need cabling back to the gateway and is cheaper than a Powerwall 3. You can add three DC expansion kits per Powerwall 3 which allow up to 54 kilowatt hours of storage. You don't need to contact the grid, so they can be fitted without the delay as well. It doesn't add output, but with 11.04 kilowatts, the question is how much more do you really need? This is a game changer for Powerwall 3 with more information on these coming very soon. In summary, Powerwall 3 is a long awaited battery storage upgrade from Tesla, bringing higher output, easier expansion, better safety features, higher efficiency, supreme installation flexibility, and an all-in-one product. It's a remarkable system that truly demonstrates cutting edge battery technology. Our first installation has taken place at the end of this month. We plan to cover this in great detail, including showing you exactly what you can power with Powerwall 3 with no connection to the grid. Make sure to subscribe to get one of the first glimpses at this new exciting technology. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.